I love this game. Spider-Man Web of Shadows has great web swinging mechanics and has yet to be topped by another Spider-Man game. There's a massive amount of hidden mechanics and tricks just within the web swing alone. It's based off of actual pendulum physics, unlike the modern incarnation. The combat is fun and it feels quick, powerful, and punchy. The web strike mechanic is absolutely amazing and there's so much depth put into this one move. You can do kick flips and ollies on enemies in mid-air like your Tony Hawk and you can do it to every enemy in the game. The game is fun and intuitive, and it feels great to play. But it only feels good. Look at my screen. I'm using mods. This game is extremely ugly. Like, it's really, really bad. The classic suit in this game is extremely muddy. Even in the daytime, it looks like a muddy orangish red, which is nasty. The logo choices on this suit are absolutely horrendous. So the front logo has more of a Ditko-esque spider logo design with a big head and abdomen that connect in the way that Ditko's work usually did. It's also got more of a modernized spider leg placement. So they're kind of mixing up Ditko with more of a modern leg placement, which is just weird. But then you go to the logo on the back and it's just the classic one with no flair. What? Like these logos just don't match up at all. They both look like they're trying to be from completely different eras and are made with completely different styles. And the web lines are way thicker than the legs on the front logo. It's so easy to lose the front logo in this mess. Even with the slightly gray tone, it looks a bit off. There's one thing about this suit that isn't all that bad. It's that the suit actually tries to look like a suit. There's genuine seam lines. The red has fabric textures to it. That's nice. I like that but it's still diarrhea cheeks. But guess what? You can change into the black suit in this game, which can't be any worse, right? Well, it's only slightly better. But that's only because it's hard to get a black Spider-Man or a Venom design wrong. Remember that I said that. The lenses of this suit do not match how fucking thick this logo is. For this logo to work, the lenses have to be much bigger, or the legs have to be much thinner. The one thing I enjoy about this suit is that it's slightly shaded in purple. It's not as bad as the first one, but it's still pretty mid. But that's not even the worst part. In most Spider-Man games, if you don't like the suit you're currently wearing, you can switch it out for another one. But guess what? You can't do that unless you bought the fucking Wii version. But it can't get any worse. These suits suck, right? But maybe the main antagonist of the game looks cool. Maybe Venom looks swag. Let's see, let's see, let's hope. God fucking damn it. Venom looks so stupid in this game. His eyes are so small, and his suit suffers from the same issues the black suit does, but much worse. First of all, the logo is shit. It's all thick and shit, and it doesn't even try to look like the Venom logo we know and love and its thickness doesn't help when the eyes are super small. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Look, watch this. I'm gonna fix all three of these character designs. Check this out, boom. I've decided to brighten up the colors of the classic suit and replace the front logo with one that goes for a more modern take while also mis mixing a Ditko-esque logo in a way that isn't completely ugly. The black suit just has bigger eyes. That's all this suit needed to be fixed, and now it's perfect. The Venom logo has been touched up on this suit, I've given it a clear abdomen, I've tightened up the legs, and I've sized up the eyes. I I've had you guys call me out in the past and say that, oh, your redesigns aren't any better. You, your redesigns aren't as good as the ones that Marvel's made. Shut up, this is objectively better. I don't care, okay? This time, I there is no questioning. I am exactly right. Now, we fixed the character designs of the three most important people in the game. Now let's look at the rest. Uh, Black Widow is here, and she looks pretty alright. I don't mind her suit. I love that they put her zipper down without putting her widows out and flying around. Uh, they're saving that for another character. Wolverine looks alright. I like the yellow. I, I did think that putting him in the, in the yellow and brown version of the suit would have fit much better for this outing. You know, they would have it would have been better for the grungy aesthetic they were going for in this game. 
Maybe since Wolverine was more of a cameo appearance, they wanted to have him in his classic suit, which is all right. Either yellow and blue or yellow and brown would have worked for me, but this suit goes for more of a yellow and black. And if not black, that's more of a navy blue, but st still. Black hat. Yeah. Luke Cage is a big black man in a yellow shirt and pants. It's perfect. They did a great job. Not much they could have messed up. They did great. There's another design in this game that they did a phenomenal job with. Electro looks amazing. They made his costume look serious while also keeping a lot of the sillier elements that more serious incarnations take out. I also love that his suit is made out of sweaters and jeans. It gives it more of a human take on a supervillain costume that we usually never see. When do we ever get to see supervillains making their silly costumes? Like, I could imagine Electro sitting in his shitty apartment, just sewing lightning bolts onto his pants. This is probably one of my favorite Electro designs ever. It's just such a shame because this game would look so much prettier if the characters didn't blend in with the dull colors of the city. Here's a mod by Dead Gun that gives Peter a brighter suit. This is already miles better. Again, this game is so much fun. The combat is well thought out and full of depth, and the swing is just as deep, but this game is painfully ugly. I'm not arguing that the game needs to change the atmosphere of the story, because obviously a city taken over by symbiotes would be ugly, but the heroes look just as ugly as the city does sometimes. And that should never be the case in this specific scenario. The heroes should be the ones that bring the city out of the darkness with their bright costumes. In this game, Peter's classic suit just isn't that and it struggles to parallel the suit that actually looks evil. In my opinion, they both look pretty evil to me.